Hello, beautiful Taurus souls. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. I have missed you, my friends. I hope you're doing well. So I'm going to just jump right on into your message. There are several things actually that came through channeling your energy prior, and then we'll get into tarot and oracle cards. Um, I'm interested to get into your message to piece this together. This this um, seems to also have a connection to Gemini, which I will be recording next here. So I don't know if you have Gemini in your chart, you know a Gemini, but it feels like there's a connection. So Taurus, the first thing that came through was a wait a week. One wait for a week. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this means. I feel like there is a pause or there's something that's causing you to have to wait for something. And it's feeling like there's a frustration surrounding it. Like every single week, like there's, there's one week every or one wait every week. You got to be kidding me. Um, the next thing that I saw was a crescent moon. Um, there was no connection to that. Although in a reading I did yesterday for the collective, which I highly recommend you guys go watch. I'll connect it to the end of this video here. Um, there is a crescent moon. The crescent moon that I saw came through in the Phantasma deck, which is on the Fool card. The Fool is jumping off of this crescent moon. So I do feel like there is a journey, a new journey, something new that's beginning. But you're kind of in this place of needing to wait like every every week. It doesn't need to be every week, but um, something is causing this pause, like a stop to start energy is what's coming through for me. So let's keep going on that. The next thing that came through was an image of it was interesting. So I saw an outline of lungs and then um, arms that were attached to the body, but they were going around and they were embracing each lung separately. So the way that I took that, the lungs are the seat of sadness. So when sadness is experienced or expressed, we, we feel that we can feel heavy in our lungs. If it's not moving through, it's a, there's a good indication if something's going on with the lungs, there's sadness that's stuck in the body. Um, Sickness was also something I was curious about, but Gemini is connected to the lungs, which is where I'm coming from with this. There's a connection to Gemini and the Gemini reading. Um, really interested to get into that one, too, because there was so much interesting stuff that's come through. I'm a Gemini son, so always interested in Gemini for sure. Uh, we do have every sign in our chart, just depends on which house. So I'm also interested to get into your reading here. This feels very interesting. The next image that I saw was a flower. It was a swimming flower. So it looked kind of like a hibiscus flower. Um, I don't know, maybe you've seen Fantasia, like the old school Fantasia, where they have the flowers that are dancing at one point in the in the movie. That's kind of the image that I got. Like it was a flower turned um, anthropomorphic, I guess, very human-like. And it's dancing through the water here. Um, the words that came through were come alive. So I'm getting this feeling of expression. Um, I do love flowers. So, I, and I feel like they come, well, they do come in all shapes and sizes and smells and they're all beautiful in their own way. Even that one that smells like meat. <laughs> There's a creature here on the planet that enjoys that flower too. The next thing that I was shown was a tsunami wave that had two peaks on it. It was a very interesting wave. Um, this flower continued twirling and dancing underneath the waves, even as the waves were crashing on. So the message that came through for me on that was to continue even as the storm is crashing on, whatever this means, this um, pushing through to this new journey, working through sadness or sickness. Um, I am interested to put this message together the other thing I saw was an eye. So an eye coming down um, straight from the sky, looking down onto the earth. Um, <laughs> what, what, what I was told was the eye from the sky will dry just in time. Uh, oh, interesting. It's kind of bringing me to yeah, like, a, like a flood. Those two uh, tsunami waves. <laughs> um like to the younger driest time, which is about 13,000 years ago, um, globally, 
all cultures speak about a flood. Um, Noah's flood is one of them, Gilgamesh, etc. So, yeah, very interesting. A reset of some sort. Hmm? Interesting. I was asking further questions about this. What what does this mean? And I was told, you'll see. LOL. <laughs> you get it. You'll see with the eye. So we'll see. Getting into this message. The very last component that came through was, and I don't even know if this is a word, but toolery, like tool, the fabric, um, like a shop that sells tool. I don't, I don't know. I, I think about dresses in particular when tool comes through, like wedding dresses in particular. So I don't know, you guys are going to a wedding, maybe you're getting married. Uh, let's check it out. Let's get into it. Five, five, five on the timer. Big change. I'm talking about a reset here. Hmm. Okay, let's get further into it. So Oracle messages here to start for Taurus. I'm going to do the um, Wild Unknown Archetypes Oracle here to start. I'm feeling there are two, two cards here for you. Additional messages for Taurus, please spirit. Two cards, there we go. The sword, okay. The sword and the animal come through here. So the sword is an energy of a decision, a decision that needs to be made, um, a decision that will be made for you. Hmm. The first time we experience this kind of energy is at birth when the umbilical cord is cut. Something that is separating from something else. I feel like they're in this process of having to wait, a wait a week. Um, you guys are wanting to move, move somewhere. Hmm? Maybe some of you are wanting to move. Move forward with something. Again, I'm seeing that full card starting a new journey or moving forward with something. Um, the decision will be made for you. Interesting. It feels like there's this tension where you have already made a decision or, or you're continuing to make that decision, but it's not, it's not providing the effect that you're wanting it to provide. And what I'm getting from that is that you've like, you've done what you need to do from your side, as far as making this decision. I'm seeing those tsunami waves again. <laughs> um, that, that bigger flood idea that's coming through, that is a choice that um, if you want to look at it as God, um, there are some theories that they were aliens that caused these situations, could have been, could have been totally natural, I guess. Um, but what I'm getting is this decision that's being made outside of our own experience. Waiting on that decision. Interesting. Okay, and the animal coming through here too. So this card is um, a reminder that we we are still animals. If we needed a reminder, we could just look at well, our bodies or how our bodies function. This is kind of an interesting, interesting vibe having that like Noah's flood come through and then and then animals too. Hmm. Let's get further into it. Um, which any other oracle cards here? The crow. For Taurus here, please, can we get some more information here on the message? Luck. Ooh. Luck. So luck here is about being, um, it's about being prepared and, and having an opportunity come forward, being in the right place at the right time, but also having the right kind of preparation. Luck opens up a door for us to step through, but we still have to take the courage to step through it and be prepared and brought back to this waiting, wait a week, wait a week. Hmm? Maybe something will be happening within a week here for some of you. You're being put into that, that place. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, ooh, okay. So what I'm seeing is that flower again, dancing in the tsunami waves. The request here is for you guys to enjoy your life, to continue enjoying your life. That wave is moving you to where your luck is, where there's an abundance of fish. Ooh, okay, that's exciting, all right. Um, let's pull an Animal Spirit Oracle card for you guys too, and then we'll get into the tarot. 
What else does tar uh, Tarot? <laughs> what else does Taurus need to know about this message, please, Spirit? 1010 on the timer as well. Ooh, okay, two of them came through. The Hummingbird and Camel. So Camel, this is an energy of being prepared. The Camel stores water in its hump for the long journey. It's able to withstand heat. So I do get this feeling that there is frustration or anger coming up surrounding progress. Like I said, you guys, you've already made the decision to start whatever this new journey is, to move. For some of you, I'm kind of getting that vibe, to move on. But you feel like you're just waiting, and that's because you are. Because the eye in the sky <laughs> is um, whatever that eye in the sky is. I don't necessarily, I mean, you can view it if, if you want as God. It feels like the force of universe, source, creator, God, Akasha. There is a greater design that's being drawn. And that's why there's this period of waiting. With the hummingbird, I get a feeling of magic that comes through when the hummingbird comes through. We can't see a hummingbird flap its wings um, without technology. Our human eye cannot see it actually flapping its wings. So to us, it looks like it could be magic. It's floating It's floating in midair. I am uh, going to open this up here in the book. I feel like there's something in the... Something in there Spirit wants me to look at here. One second. How are you guys doing? Um, feel free also to comment in the comment section there with how any of this applies to you. I do enjoy reading your comments and responding as I can. Um, and it's fun for me to see how this fits into your guys' lives too. If I could find this. <laughs> Am I in the right element? I, I kind of feel like you're certain there it is. You're searching for something too. You know it's there. Maybe even in a plate, you know where it is, but for whatever reason, every time you go back to find it, it's not. You're having a hard time finding it. Positive, enthusiastic, and spiritually resourceful. Um, taking a class to bring that energy into balance. I feel like I feel like you're you're prepared. Like I said, you've you've prepared for the journey. You've made this decision to do whatever's next for you here. That taking a class recommendation is coming through as something to um, take up your time. <laughs> not really a full on distraction, but so that you're not focused on time so much. Whatever this thing is that's moving forward will move forward. It, it already has a set date or time that this is going to happen. I'm very much getting the message to do other things that that you enjoy using your time on. Dancing underwater, maybe? Hmm? Okay, let's get into your tarot messages here as well. So I'm going to start here with um, the Modern Witch Tarot. I haven't pulled this one out for a minute, but it was calling me here. High Priestess here at the split. This one actually came through a few times here as I was shuffling this one and the other deck we're going to be using. So something in um, the subconscious, I am getting this feeling of deep magic as well. I'm seeing a metronome here. Divine timing on something. She just fell out again. <laughs> Divine timing on something. Like that metronome is set. The time is set. Ooh, interesting. What what just came through on that? So if you, if you set um, metronomes at different times it to the same beat they will always come together eventually to the exact same beat um i can't i was just seeing that the other day i can't remember exactly what that's called but it's a phenomena phenomenon do, 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 do. <laughs> um something about resonance the law of resonance okay let's keep going here uh what message do we have for taurus please spirit at this time interesting <laughs> Ooh. So in your hope section here, you guys have the tower. I feel like um, somebody is sitting in a position, and this is a general message, you guys, so please take it as it resonates. Somebody is in a position where they want something to be over. Like I said, with this decision, the tower is, is something coming to a close, coming down. 
Um, there is an illumination, some sort of awareness that's happened right before the tower does come down. This tower has not come down, though. There's something in the way of you moving, or you're feeling like there's something in the way of you moving forward. You're wanting this tower to come down. For some of you, it could be a relationship, a job, where you're living. Moving is really coming through for somebody. Okay, keep moving forward. This is the Phantas or not Phantas Phantasma deck, excuse me, Fortuna deck. Spirit, what do we have here for Taurus? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. <laughs> what do we have here for Taurus? Hmm. Six of Pentacles or Six of Discs here at, at the bottom. This is also Moon and Taurus. There's your Crescent Moon there too. Um, this is your Fear. So Fear Aversion. You got a couple moons on there. This is um, this is your give and take. Receiving what you're due. I take this as well. Giving what you can and receiving when you do need to receive. I think for some of you, there's there's a difficulty of fear, anxiety, aversion to, to um, reaching out for help when you need it. I'm, I'm brought back to this distraction of time. Phone a friend, <laughs> phone a friend here to go out on a date, you know, go have fun, go do something to take up your time rather than biting your nails or feeling frustrated that this tower hasn't come down yet. Okay, let's get further into it. So in general, to start, you have three of pentacles. I do get, um, especially with this person drawing down here, back to taking up your time with something that's enjoyable. Three of Pentacles is success in working with others. It's recognition as well. There's something about getting out there with other people too. Asking others for help. This can be um, counseling. A counselor going to counseling. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe, ooh, I feel like some of you here have made a decision on something, like maybe to end a relationship or to move, change something about yourself. There's a there's a request here to get, um, not really even like a second opinion, but a good sounding board. I feel like there's a component of what you're experiencing that spirit, God, universe wants you to see clearly that flash of lightning before the tower comes down. Like you're being held in stasis to give you more time to see this component. Ooh. Okay. Let's get a little more information on this here. Uh, Princess of Elixirs comes through here next. Yeah, I feel like some of you, some of you are experiencing this drive to find new love to start something new. The Princess of Elixirs is a new something, new idea, could be a new relationship, an offer of a new relationship, a budding romance. Um, I do get a feeling of like an overwhelm of emotion as we were talking about earlier here. There's this frustration to get moving on something. Taurus, when you, you know, when you want to do something, you do it. When you don't, you don't. And there's not anything outside of um, God, universe, source, that will really adjust that attitude or motion. What is it that I'm going to pull? So that this may hurt tarot here. What is this um, illumination that Taurus needs to see here? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's burnt out on something work something passion like your passion has gone from something could be a relationship like i said okay what is the advice surrounding that please spirit strength determination perseverance and self-discovery yeah i feel like you guys are being requested to see something so let's move a little further and see if we can't figure this out. We can't. We'll figure it out. Um, so your good stuff. 
Good stuff coming for you at this time. You have justice. Balance. Balance. Um, fairness. Something coming into an equivocal exchange. This does feel like a relationship for somebody. Justice can symbolize the legal proceedings surrounding like a marriage um, or divorce. Mm, for some, I mean, for some of you, it may be, ooh, it could be the opposite too. Maybe some of you are wanting to stay in a situation and it's best for that tower to come down. Let's go a little further. The universe. <laughs> um, this is something major coming to a close. That divine timing is something that's coming through here again, though. So whether this is a relationship, moving, job change, um, new outfit, I don't know, maybe you're thinking about styling your eyebrows in a different way. <laughs> I almost said unibrow. I don't know, maybe you're thinking... <laughs> Oh my God, no, no blame or shame. You know, that's oh, these human bodies. They're okay. However they are. Okay. But something coming to a close, a major chapter coming to a close. And because of this, there is a, a new adventure starting too. I'm, I'm brought back to that crescent moon with a fool starting a new journey. You go back to the fool after the universe. There's an ability or new skill, um, understanding awareness that's coming through though. When this chapter comes to a close. Clinging is something that's coming through. There's a like there's a fear of letting go or letting let go, let God, um, jumping into the flow of something, dancing through the waves. Anything else on this, please, spirit? Yeah, four of. <laughs> there's not going here. Four of Pentacles, clinging. This person is clinging to that pentacle. It's and it's because of. Um, safety and security or perceived safety and security. This can symbolize, you know, feeling safe and secure, but we can over cling to situations and that disrupts the flow. So there's a recommendation here to let go, you guys, to surrender to something. Okay, sarah, sarah, whatever will be, will be. The future is not ours to see. Okay, sarah, sarah. Yeah, whatever this tower is coming down, will it will come down. It wants to see you dancing, though. Interesting. Anything else here? Self-limiting beliefs. Negative thoughts are creating a roadblock in your life. Those thoughts are what's causing that. Um, we'll be open to change, too. Be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. Those self-limiting beliefs or negative thoughts are what's causing that fear to cling on to whatever this is. There's a new chapter that you're being requested to, to read, to step into. So whether this is a job, relationship, where you're living, whatever's going on, something is, is requesting change. And this is okay. It doesn't feel like a bad thing at all. I mean, I don't like good or bad anyway. It's super subjective and, and totally a, a human construct. We do have light and dark. We have, you know... Um, opposing forces like that in the yin, in yin and yang, but good and bad are, are really, I don't think they're real. <laughs> there are things we could discuss, you know, what is more morally correct or incorrect, but that again is a, a human um, subjective conversation. So let's keep moving forward here. What is in the dark here? What you don't see coming? Five of wands. So this is, um, you may have beaten the shit out of yourself. <laughs> This is a competition, conflict and competition. So what you're not seeing in the dark right now is how you are conflicting maybe your own forward progress. There are components of yourself that are fi fighting against each other. And this isn't, it's not the five of swords. Nobody's drawing blood. Um, but it is not constructive. It's wasting your energy and time. I'm seeing like floating on a lazy river. Again, back to surrendering here. So surrendering to the flow. <laughs> Belly up to the swim up bar, right? <laughs> Grab a drink and float, float on your tube down the river. 
those of you that this message is for, I know that you can feel this, the magnetism of where this is trying to pull you, or at least pull you away from. That's the flow that's being requested to be followed. Okay. Two of Candles comes through here next. Um, there is a decision that needs to be made. So what you don't see here is there's a decision that needs to be made. And this is one that is not going to feel comfortable, not because you've done something wrong or anybody else has done something wrong. Um, you chose to be human, right? This is a, a big part of change. We are constantly needing to make the decision to either change or not change. So what you don't see is everything is, is actually, with this decision, the sword, this decision that was made or needs to be made, there's there's something coming back here and saying like, ah, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure that's the decision you wanna make? There's a greater decision at play here. Okay, can you give me a little more on that please, Spirit? You don't want that deck, okay, that's fine. With the two of candles, please. Happiness, new discoveries that lead to celebrations. Love yourself first. Um, <clears throat> this is like I was saying with the five of wands. So we're stepping away from competing with ourselves. Going into that flow, whatever, whatever this is that does bring you happiness. There's this anticipation. That's an interesting feeling. Seeing like you're, you know, sitting at a window, looking out the window here, but there's this really sick feeling in my stomach. Like you're waiting for somebody or something to come home, but at the same time, you don't want them there. Interesting. Listen to your body. That's uh, your body is, you know, especially feelings down here in the gut, like uh, sticky tingly feelings in the chest and arms and legs is really a good indication of anxiety. Anxiety is not a good message to go off of as far as direction, but heart and gut. Yeah, totally. Okay. So your challenge here at this time, three of wands. <laughs> so moving from the two of candles, two of wands to the three of wands. Yeah. Like I was saying, there's a need to make some decision where you are going to be uncomfortable for a second for the sake of your own growth. And this is moving you to your expansion. The difficult thing at this, this point is the, the expansion. And this person's looking out into the distance here too, waiting for their ship to come in, waiting for something to come in. Like I said, was looking out the window there. Hmm. Anything else on that, please, Spirit? What is this? What is it they're waiting for? The fool. For a new journey, something to start. Okay. Two swords. <laughs> a decision needing to be made. Okay. The, the next card that comes in to clarify this is the Ace of Keys. There's some sort of truth that is difficult to swallow. I don't know. I mean, whether, yeah, whether it is a move or relationship or career, none of it feels like an easy decision to make. I feel like the decision that is being made is one of pragmatism, which isn't inherently bad, like I was saying, or wrong. There aren't you know, right or wrong decisions, there are seasons, though, that change. And that's kind of what I'm getting here is there's a season that's changing, or has changed. And there's a need for you to to follow that. So someone is staying in a situation where, you know, it's fall now, and you're still treating it like it's summer, and you're gonna have a bad time, if that's the case. Anything else on that, please, spirit with the ace of keys? Oh, that's an interesting way that that fell out here. Okay, Queen of Swords here in reverse. So refusing to see the truth in something, being honest with yourself, um, turning off the heart, like the heart is giving you a message and you're maybe refusing to see that. 
So I see this as interesting. These fell out in two piles. I feel like maybe these are the two decisions that are coming through. The first one here is Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, this is moving forward with something. Could be moving. But there's um, there's a fear of being hasty. So on one end, someone is afraid of being hasty, making a hasty decision towards something. But I don't feel like it's hasty. Like you've had time to, to feel this, to dream about this. The other side here is the devil in reverse and the lovers. <laughs> so this does kind of feel, I mean, the lovers are also a crossroads and need to make a decision. This feels like a relationship for a lot of you. I don't know. With the devil in reverse here, especially, this is um, like freeing yourself from those those chains. So someone, yeah, someone's in a relationship here that they maybe are noticing is, is best healthy for them to exit out of, but you're having a hard time maybe clinging to something. You're having a hard time seeing that. And this could be career, you know, any of that too. Okay. Um, any other advice here on that, please, Spirit? Divine timing. <laughs> Everything has a higher purpose. I was just saying that earlier, too. I am going to pull an Oracle card here to close this out, you guys. And then I'm going to move into an extended reading. If you guys want to join me there, I'll have links in the description of the video. No stress if you don't want to. It was good hanging out with you guys here. What um, final message here for Taurus, please, surrounding this decision? I feel like I'm being drawn back to the animal here. Um, impetuousness. There's something about like you're feeling like you're making a knee-jerk reaction or you're, you're operating from the animal place in your brain. It's all animal. <laughs> I'm hearing, I'm hearing sit and spin and stop spinning. I'm feeling spinny too. Um, I feel like it would be beneficial or helpful to get into water too. Like natural water. I, I mean, bath would be great, but if you're able to get into a river, lake, something like that, connecting, magnifying that energy with that connection to the earth. Leveling off emotions, yeah. Okay, um, enlightenment is what came through here. I'm going to read this in the book here real quick. Liberation. <laughs> I love how these are always dead on. There is no need to hide behind a persona that you think others will find more acceptable. The real you is far more beautiful. You are not your personality, nor your job, qualifications, or achievements. You are not your successes or failures or any other earthly thing or relationships. Who you are is far more noble and precious than anything you can possibly imagine. Imagine yourself surrounded by a warm and gentle rose quartz light. Feel yourself bathed in this healing energy until you imagine nothing but light. Let yourself be free of the restrictions you have placed upon yourself. <laughs> Those chains. You are a beautiful soul, perfect just as you are. Yes, you are. So let your inner light shine through. It is time to free yourself from the illusion that prevents you from being all that you can be. <laughs> I feel um, I'm as bad as the worst, but thank God I'm as good as the best. Walt Whitman. I feel like there is a need to go back and examine um, a decision that you are making. I, that's why that's why this pause is happening. Uh, I mean, you can you can go through and still continue with this decision. Uh, time will not wait. You know, time waits for no one. But right now, it feels like there is. A little bit of assistance for you guys like you sure about that you sure that's a decision on a mic <laughs> before this tower comes down it's it's kind of about like you're being given oh interesting you're being given an extra opportunity here to climb down the stairs of the tower instead of needing to fall from the tower okay okay i love you taurus thank you guys so much for joining me here i'm going to move into the extended now like i said links are in the description if you want to check that out i do have them for sale individually and on my third tier of membership, if you want to check that out, you can have access to all of them. Private readings are open and available right now, too. If you want to check out my website, links are in the description. 
I have my PayPal and Cash App links in there as well. If you feel called to tip or donate, this reading resonated with you. I truly appreciate the support, you guys. It goes a long way. It's not mandatory, but to those who have supported the channel in that way and do, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell as well if this reading resonated with you. I truly appreciate it. Taurus, I know you can do this. Uh, take a deep breath, okay? And um, take care of yourself. I'll see you very, very soon, okay? Be well.